Hey guys, if you want to know me, my name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of my summer car. Can you see my stress bar? See how it's just above halfway? That shouldn't be. That should be at zero. I'll tell you why. I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work, as you may be able to tell. We've now got 11,981. I did have just over 12,000, but I went to Timo's shop and bought a load of stuff, mainly brake fluid, because I thought, well, now I've done a little bit of work. I've got a bit of money that we can now spend on, on upgrades and stuff when it comes to it. Let me just have a quick look at the brakes because on camera we just couldn't figure out what was going on. So I went through, I checked every single bolt, I checked every single valve, and for the life of me, pee. It looked okay. I'm smoking out of my pee area. Um, it looked okay. And I kept filling up and filling up and filling up with fluids and nothing was happening. And I think because I was messing around with the nuts on the brake so much, I kept like leaking out the fluids and it kept coming out so i went to the shop and i bought a ton of them and a load more food as well uh, so as you can see i have got bottles of brake fluid everywhere these are all empty though now but but it's now working we now have brakes we have no dashboard but we're starting a little bit better i played with the carburetor a little bit so if we get it out of here, oh, I hit the wall. That's okay. We don't yet. And then brake. Ha! Ha! We have brake. We have a functional car. It's working. I would say flawlessly. <laughs> I don't know quite quite about flawlessly. We are turning to the left slightly. So I think today, I want to start off, I'm going to give it another crack at putting the dashboard in. Ooh, forward. Oh, I stalled it. Brake. Give it a bit of revs. Okay. Wheel spin. So let's get it back on the concrete here. Uh, we're going to try and put the dashboard in first because I, I really would like to get that in, uh, if possible. Handbrake works. It Everything's good. As you heard, it started fine. There was no real problems. Yeah, I stalled it, but that's to be fair. You, you do that quite a lot with these cars. Um, I went to the shop. I got some more fuel. So we've got, now got another can of uh, gasoline if I need more fuel in the car and I can't make it all the way to the, the um, fuel station. Get out of here. Ow. Um, I do have a few more bits to put on, just mainly body parts, I think. What is that thing over there? What's this thing? Oh, that's the old battery. Yeah, I don't want that. And then we've got hubcaps, um, radio, Morocco cover, which I'm not going to put on yet, or the air filter until I know I've got it tuned how I want. It's, it's running pretty well, so we possibly could put it on. But let's have a go with this dashboard again. I'm going to walk through it with you guys. So that little thing on the left there, see that little part on the left? That's the um, bonnet catch, uh, like lever. So you need to be a little careful that you don't put the bonnet on until you've got the dashboard secure. Otherwise, when the bonnet's on, you can't actually get it, the bonnet open. Uh, I think I made that mistake the first time I played through this, and it took me forever. But let's give this a go. So there's two bolts that hold this on. And uh, I don't know what size they are. There's one right in the middle, which is not that size. You'll probably find that these nuts are already done up. Because I've done them up so often. No? Okay. So that's that one done up. I've then got one in here. So we should be... Good. Right? That should... Like that. That's pulling. I can't... I can't click it off now. Hey, that's something good. Okay, maybe maybe it was just like when we had the game loaded up last time, it just wouldn't go in. The problems arised when I then tried to put this in. So we go here. It's in. But how many screws hold this on? Can I see into it? Are there any? There might not be any. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Radio. We'll get the radio in. And I think we've got two choices on um, 
what we put into our da Ugh, that's a choke <laughs> i don't know if i need to screw them up we'll find out when we drive um but we've got two different dials that we can put in this hole here we can either have a clock or the rev meter and i think maybe when we're doing the rally the clock would be a good idea but i think an rpm gauge would just make a little bit more sense so we'll stick that in there as well well who would have thought it now i don't have unless i don't think i have any any light wipers wipers work Oh, and we've got another speed as well. Okay, so the light comes on when I've got it on high beam, but I don't have the lights installed it's installed yet. Same with the hazards. And the choke, I mean, to be fair, our car is starting perfectly without the choke. The dials are working. I am nearly out of fuel. I tell you what we should do. I don't really want to run out like when I'm in the middle of driving around somewhere. So let's go and put this in. Uh, that'll do. That'll be fine. And stick this in here. Ah, uh, I need to open up the cap. <laughs> Can you imagine if you had a friend that would do something like that in real life and just why isn't it oh I put the lid back on There we go. Why isn't it working? You've got the lid on it still. Oh, yeah, we were like really low on fuel All right, so we'll put this jerry can in hello. Is it going up? It's going up now. We've got like a few choices um, I Think we need to sort out the steering first and get us actually driving straight then we can put the body parts on. And then I think we might be able to put it through like it's car test. It's what we call an MOT in the UK. I don't know if you've got something different that you guys call it in the States that are watching. Uh, but it's like make sure that the car is suitable for the road and legal. For that we're going to need uh, a few different things. Uh, including a warning triangle that is on the tractor. Yeah, this thing. You need this thing to be able to pass. Uh, I won't take it off here though yet, uh, but we just need to have that in the boot. So let's um, let's get this tracking straight. Pow, get in there. I'm gonna need a certain sized screwdriver for this. Let me just lean in here. I'm pretty sure it's this bolt here, because that's the brake one there. Is that even done up? I hope that's done up. I think it's that one there. So where's our toolbox? Here it is. Let's uh, take this around the other side. Oh no, I could just use this wheel, can't I? And... That's the brake one. That's the one I need. It's going to be a big one, isn't it? It's going to be a big guy. No, that's that one. I don't want that one. And I'm sure it's not a screwdriver either. Because that's a bolt right there. There we go. So as you can see, we're turning the wheel slightly in and out. Now, we were tracking to the left. So what we need to do is we want to, one, get this wheel to point forward. Well, ideally, just get both wheels to point forward. But the easier way might be just to turn the other wheel more right. So I would say looking at eye without no laser equipment like they would have in real life that that looks pretty straight to me and i would say that one's pointing in a little bit that's a bit toe in so if we move this one out i don't know how many twists is like a good amount of twists so let's see it starts first time cole oops hit the windows key we should be good, though, if we stick it in reverse. Oh, handbrake off. Handbrake. Good. It's hard to tell when going in reverse. I've got a feeling we're still turning to the left slightly. Am I going to hit nothing? No, I'm not going to hit nothing. Let's go back all the way. 
So I've got a feeling that we're turning that way, which would be left. Break. Oh, they're good brakes too. So let's see, if we, if we drive forward here. You know, it's not too bad. I'm actually struggling to tell. No. So uh, I hit, I hit H instead of G is up a gear. H, the key next to it, if you look on your keyboard, is um, is the key next to that, and that's punch. And I just punched my windscreen out. Oh well, well at least we don't need to worry about like rain clogging up the um, the the windscreen anymore. Oh, uh, that's so expensive to get repaired though. That's such a problem. Okay, we are definitely turning to the left still. Let's keep it running. See if it stalls or anything. I'm going to take a look at this from the front. I would say that wheel is pointing out still. And that one looks pretty straight. I would say that this one is, is still the problem wheel. I'm going to come on this side so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, I turned that a bunch. I might have turned that a little too much. I don't know, that looks pretty straight. Let's give this another go. So we'll jump in. That felt pretty good. I think we're tracking straight. I think that our car is now real pretty, pretty smart. Let's spin around. Oh, it's front wheel drive, we can't spin around. It just understeers. Okay. Oh, it's it's nippy. It's nippy, don't crash. I can't believe I smashed my windscreen. I'm a little bit bummed out about that, but it doesn't really matter. Look at that. Okay. Turn it off. I done that. I clicked the wrong button then. Ah, where am I going? <laughs> Why is the car moving forward? I don't like that. Oh, and this noise, this ticking, is fine. Uh, I did I did do a Google of that, and it's just like the cool down. So it's, it's no problem that it's making that noise. So I think the car seems to be running fine. I'm happy to put the filter on the top here. I have no idea if a screw holds it on or not, though. Like, in real life, that would hold it on. But, oops, don't fall. I don't know if that actually makes any difference in, in the game or not. We'll take this through and I'll very quickly, don't shut the door, try every spanner, get out, open up. So let's go with the big one first. Nope. I've already tried this one, but nope. Nope. You'd have thought there would be a way to tighten that, but it wouldn't surprise me if there wasn't because that's like a hand tight wing nut thing. See, I can take it off straight away. No, I can't put it back on. I would say that's probably on, but the rocker cover will have some bolts. So we can now stick this bad boy on here without falling down the hole. And... It's that one. I bet you it's a it's a nine. It's not a nine. It's an eight. It's a seven. Ah, I told you. Right. So we are now we are now done mechanically wise. Well, without upgrades. What we can do though, how many is there? Six? It looks like there's six. What we can do is upgrade the car and we can pick up our stuff from Telmo's post office, which is like right next to the shop. Um, but let's get it through the MOT first because I, I don't think that the car can pass with the aftermarket upgrades. I think you have to pass it uh, standard first and then go from there. So that one, oh, I just, I took the air filter off. My my finger, like, done its... Do, do your fingers do that, like, randomly just, like, 
press a button on the mouse. I seem to do it an awful lot. All right, that air filler might come off, but if it does, it's not really that much of a problem. Oi. Up there. Boom. So, let's get the body parts on, shall we? Now, these are probably going to come off more times than I'd like. Oh, let's get the other seat in as well. Um, and the rear seats. Where are the rear seats? They're on the... Yeah, they're over here. Oh, I can sleep on that? Why would I... Oh, because you can just sleep in the back of your car now, can't you? That's an update, yeah. Uh... No, no, no. Bad. 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 No. Not. Not what we want. Not what we want. <laughs> I should have known. Ooh. Well, that worked. I should have known something like that would happen. Boom. Go on, go on, go on, go on, sort of, boom, I'm breaking my car so much, how on earth are you meant to get this out of here? Do not jump while having your hands out. It's okay. It's okay. What we'll do is move this stupid thing over here. Move that. Hey, I folded the seat forward. Move that stupid thing out there. And I'm going to have to just drag out. Go on, move. So let's start. Old Betsy up. <laughs> and we thought today was going well. We thought today was going without a hitch. Okay. Uh, parking brake off. In gear. Good. Yep, yeah, drive into the wall. That sounds like a good idea too. No, don't shut the door. Let's get it lined up. So, I'm planning to just pull this out. In fact, I think the door can probably stay closed for all I care. I'll open it anyway, but... Uh, no, yeah, super net. Super net. Let's not be silly. Okay. And then, toe. To toe. Somewhere here. Huh? Oh, is it too far away? Or is it at an angle that it can't do? Okay, I'll turn it round. I can do that. <laughs> Not that way. Don't turn it that way. Don't turn it. That's it. That's it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If we can just get it over onto its wheels by our, by our own brute force... Right, let's do let's jump underneath here again. No, we 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 Have I got a toe hitch on the back? I do. <laughs> okay, just drag it out and then we can flip it over outside. <laughs> okay. Gently. Mind the paintwork. Gently. Okay. Good. No, out. Good. Take this off. Okay. And then... If I bring the tractor around this side and try and, like, flip it over out here... 
so let's let's get in. Not reverse. No nope, punch. Let it disable that button. I might disable that button. If you're watching this and you play this game, disable the punch button. You don't need it. Why is it even there? Yeah, I hit it again. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. Okay. Um, you know what? It can stay there. Turn it off. Okay. Uh, so what did I break then? I broke the exhaust off and that was about it. You know, from flipping a car, losing the exhaust isn't so bad. Um, I need a screw a nut or something to put that on otherwise it's just going to fall off again but we're pretty good what was i doing the rear seats let's put those in <laughs> we're, we're fine so i'm going to get this the right way this time so it doesn't like freak out no no don't sleep so it doesn't freak out at me i think i've got the bottom so i think i think it's up the right way now Yeah. Okay. And then I got a bolt there. Is it? Have I got the button, right, the right one? No, of course I don't. Uh, what what screw was the? I don't even know how many was on that exhaust. I think it's only one that was on the exhaust anyway. But trouble is, is I can't really see where it is. Yes, I can. Right, one one right here. Oh, I even had the right one. Was there any more at the back? I don't think so. I think we're good. So, let's take this. Thank you. <laughs> and plunker inside. And they're not going to be the smallest ones, are they? No. Yes. How many? I, I would say four. I would say that one. I can't get it down any lower. Oh, I'm thirsty. There might only be two. I can't even... I can't, like, see properly. I'm trying to sort of cheat and lean, lean over and into it. No, I can, I can definitely only see two. Let's go and get a drink. Oh, well, it's been a good episode, that's for sure. I've <laughs> We've done all right. Let's uh, let's get the other seat in. We'll have a, a quick drink. And let's get the other seat in. And then we might have to call it there. We, we might have to. We've sorted out all the problems with the car now. It's now fully functional. Driving straight. No problems. No, don't, don't do that. Um... We've got fuel in it, we've got fluids in it, we've got a battery charge. It's starting first time, there's no rattling. Uh, from what I could tell, there wasn't any smoke. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't flip the car over again. Get out of here. Let's go around this side then. I don't... Stop doing that. Aha! Now we don't... You don't need to have, like, passenger seats and rear seats at all. But I think to get, like, a fully a full experience of the game, we're going to do the car up completely standard to begin with. And then we'll modify it from there. So then we'll put in other speakers and turbos and whatever there is. In the, I don't really know what there, what's been added recently. But we'll put all that in afterwards. So, for the moment, I'm going to leave that the, the subwoofer panel out, and I'm just going to put the back panel in instead. So, we should be able to... Somehow. Somewhere. 
grab this. <laughs> Magic. So, on the, the inside of the car now, we're looking about as good as we're going to get standard-wise. I mean, you, it's, a, it's a rough car anyway, but I'm happy. I wish we had a windscreen. I'm gutted about that. Um, the rest of the panels are boot, doors, bonnet, um, wings, front wings, um, chrome parts, your bumpers and stuff. And then the hubcaps, which I think just clip on, don't they? Hopefully we won't flip the car again like we did last time with these. These are dangerous things, these are. Rear right. Ta-da! Alright, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, then. If you... In well, actually, let's just make sure that the car starts rear left. Let's make sure that after the roll, we haven't actually broken it. Because that can happen. We could have broken it. And I'm going to be very upset if we have. Come on. Nah. First time. Like like a little roll is going to affect this beast of a motor. Never. We're even going to reverse park it in. Ooh, just in time for a thunderstorm as well. Okay. Not down the hole. I have no idea where the hole is. I'm going to assume it's in the middle. Hey. Hey. Absolutely. Well, actually quite close. But I was going to say absolutely perfect. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode where we'll put the rest of the parts on.